Here's a better view of the uh, port side uh, passenger seating. Uh, we had the table in here before, but that comes out, so uh, if you don't, so you don't have that in the way. There's some uh, st more storage area underneath these seats, which is a nice feature. Here we are at the helm of the Coronet 3100. As you'll notice, uh, we'll start up at the top here. Got a nice size compass so you can see what your heading is. And then you've got all your gauges for port and starboard engines, uh, the LED uh, readout to let you know if you're gonna if you're having a problem in case you're not paying attention to the gauges. As you work your way down, you'll notice this big surface area for mounting electronics. Uh, you can order the Garmin uh, that uh, Tierra offers from the plant or you can choose your own uh, electronics. Ray, Ray Marine's another good choice. As you, as, you, as you notice over here, your shift and throttles for port and starboard and then your, uh, your, your throttles are over here. Now you have all your switches in this area, nice, nice drink holder, so you have that at your disposal. This this uh, teak steering wheel is part of the teak package that uh, the table and all the teak accent comes with. Over on the starboard side here, uh, to the right of the helm, you there your uh, bow thrusters, so that you can adjust your your uh, bow up and down or right to left, depending on uh, what you need to do there. As you'll notice down here, this fire uh, system, you can pull this pin and pull this out in case there's a, a fire on board and it'll deploy the fire extinguisher. You go down here a little bit lower and you'll notice that you've got all your circuit uh, breakers here. There are little buttons that pop out if you have an issue. Uh, no, no fuses whatsoever, which is nice. You can just push the button back in and there you go. You go over to this area here, you have a uh, an accessory plug-in to plug in things that you might need. And this is for your remote spotlight. You can adjust which way the uh, light goes right here at your fingertips. You'll notice when you're sitting at the helm, you're up nice and high so that you have good visibility. Uh, you can reach the uh, steering well, uh, steering wheel well, and there's a spot to put your uh, feet so that you're comfortable. If you want to stand up, you'll notice that you have plenty of room uh, to stand, and the seat isn't pushing you, crowding you. There's a there's a good amount of generous room here to stand and uh, drive as well. Over on this uh, side, you'll notice there's three uh, drink holders, remote uh, uh, stereo uh, control so that you can uh, adjust your, your volume and your uh, station uh, changing if you want to do that. And you look at the dash here, uh, you'll notice that th this dark blue uh, is a, it's a two-tone. It sets everything off. It isn't, everything isn't all white, so it gives it a really nice look. And this companion way slides shut, which is a, a really nice feature, and it's all this Lexan so that you can let light down into the cabin. Easy to open. Little latch down here to keep it from shutting on you when you don't want it to shut. Now let's take a look at the cabin down below and see what the 3100 Coronet has to offer. So now as we step down into the cabin, the first thing you notice right away is the large uh, double berth. Sleep two people easily and very comfortably. Uh, very comfortable foam mattress. The uh, actual berth does lift up and you have an, oh, another storage area to store life jackets or any other items that you may have. Let's take a closer look at the storage area underneath the forward uh, berth. Now we're looking at the uh, galley on the starboard side 
of the cabin and as you can see it has a very generous work area for entertaining getting food ready entertaining for people you'll notice that it has a microwave here and a small uh, refrigerator to slide out refrigerator to store things it's lit there's some trays in here uh, makes for good storage for food and then as you notice the the uh, there's good cabinetry for storage down here below with a waste waste area to throw your trash as well as a nice storage drawer for utensils this boat uh, is equipped with air conditioning uh, with the electronic controls right here you can set the temperature for the way you want it keeps the cabin nice and cool uh, works when you're at the dock plugged in you can leave it run and uh, will keep the boat fresh all the time even when you're not in the boat another item that comes with the entertainment package is the Clarion stereo system. You have speakers in here and out in the cockpit which makes for a wonderful cruise. Part of the entertainment package comes with a uh, flat screen TV, has a DVD uh, so that you can sit down here and, and uh, watch some TV. You can adjust it uh, any way you want it and then it stores back this way and clips so that it stays firm while you're underway. As we uh, are on the starboard or port side of the boat, uh, we open this door here and you have the head shower compartment. There's storage here and uh, everything is waterproof to your electrical uh, plug-in. So if you want to plug in a shaver to shave and then also your buttons for the lights as well as it has uh, a e built-in exhaust fan. We're standing on the deck now and you'll notice the uh, 316 stainless steel bow rail that goes all the way around. It's great to grab onto in rough seas, uh, good for keeping people in. Uh, you, we also have the windlass up here. It's operable uh, from the cockpit or from the cabin. Uh, there's your spotlight uh, that's also remote. This is your uh, locker for the, uh, the line so that you can always uh, check and see how things are going with the windlass. You'll notice that uh, the very heavy duty cleats to tie the boat with, they're anchored in real well. That'll, they'll withstand anything that you throw at it. Uh, and um, again, you've, you notice the teak, part of the teak package coming around the boat, gives the boat a really nice look. Also the, the heavy duty, uh, also the heavy duty uh, stainless steel rub rail to uh, when you're pulling up to the dock protects the boat really well. So we work our way back on the foredeck. Uh, there's a nice uh, see-through Bomar hatch that you can open up uh, to ventilate the cabin. And notice that uh, the windshield system, you actually have a, a wraparound curved windshield as opposed to having a bunch of uh, aluminum uh, struts coming down to, to impere, impede your vision. This uh, also the very heavy duty windshield wipers and uh, a spray system for your windshield to keep your uh, windshields clean. Now you'll notice there's plenty of room up here for people to sit and enjoy, uh, sit down and enjoy. The non-skid is not, uh, is very soft here, so it's nice to sit on. But as you step down onto the main part of the deck, again, you have the, the heavy duty non-skid so that uh, you won't slip when the deck is wet. My name is John Vogt and I would like to thank you for taking the time to look at the 3100 Coronet made by Tierra Yachts. You can find out more about this boat 
uh, by contacting me at uh, 952-471-BOAT or online NorthShoreMarinaShowroom.com or NSMarina.com. Thanks again for watching.